If you forget the password for your Samsung Vibrant, or any Android for that matter, you can usually reset the software. And the interesting thing about this phone, uh, once you exhaust the pattern attempts, you can perform a hard reset, but it does not necessarily delete all of the information from the phone. In this case, we will still have all of our photos, uh, everything in the gallery intact. So what you want to do is start by turning the phone off. And if it doesn't work the first time, you might have to remove the battery. But in this case, I just powered the phone down. We're going to use the volume up and volume down keys at the same time. And we're going to use the power button to initiate the reset. So what you'll have to do, it's a little bit awkward, but you need to position yourself so that you can hold down the volume up and volume down keys at the same time. And then just be able to press the power button. So as you can see, it's hard to do that on accident. So chances of this happening uh, without you intending for it to are very low. In fact, sometimes it's a little difficult. From this position, I was not able to activate it. So what I do is I take uh, one hand, hold down the volume up and down keys, and then press the power button until you see the Vibrant logo appear on the screen. At that point, you're gonna continue holding the volume keys, but release the power button until you see the boot menu. Once the boot menu uh, goes through its little routine here, we'll have some options that we're gonna choose at the front. I'll try to focus on this so you can see what it says. And uh, one of the options here is going to be delete all user data. And in fact, as I mentioned earlier, it will not necessarily delete everything, but it will delete your Google account and your contacts and so forth. So when we initiate this, it's going to give us a confirmation screen. You'll scroll down with the volume button all the way to the point where it says delete user data. And you can use the power button to confirm any entries at this point. Once it deletes the data, we are going to go ahead and reboot the phone. So again, using the volume keys, you can make your selections use the power key to confirm them and the phone will reboot itself and this one I'm going to time lapse because this is a very very slow phone as you know with Androids every time there's new software it does seem to make the older phones run very slow I think this one is running 2.1 so my phone's going to appear to go a lot faster than yours will you'll have to be patient with this it can take four or five minutes for the whole process uh, maybe even longer just depending on how your phone is um, what what uh, version of Android you're running. So I'm going to skip ahead here in quite a few different places. So you'll see the Galaxy logo. And here we'll come to our startup screen shortly. And it will take quite a while to scan the multimedia card that's built into the phone. The actual memory card is 16 gigs on this one. So you can see I'm just kind of running through this really fast. So you don't have to be bored to death. And it's still scanning media, although there is no actual SD card inserted into the phone. This is just the internal memory that it's scanning right now. And coincidentally, where a lot of the pictures um, on this phone were stored, and they are still intact. So if you're getting ready to sell your phone, keep in mind that performing a hard reset does not necessarily delete all of your information. You'll see here shortly, I'm going to go into the gallery, and it will refuse to open until the scanning is completed. You see the message at the bottom that says media scanner running. You'll have to wait until the little icon at the top left hand side of the screen disappears and you'll get two different confirmations of the media scanning being completed. So the first time around it will still not allow you to do anything. So just be patient, hang in there, probably, like I said, take uh, you know four or five, maybe up to 10 minutes in the worst case scenario. So it says media scanning completed and yet you'll see here shortly that that is not in fact entirely true because I believe at this point when I went in to open up the gallery I still was not able to access it because it tells me again that it's scanning media. So see how that uh, just re, re uh, springs the screen. So we have to be patient, wait a little bit longer, and shortly here we'll have access to the gallery. And you'll see when I click on it, it will begin to load up all the photos that were stored on the phone. So we did not lose all of our photos, but we did get past the password and we will uh, definitely lose our Google account information and all of our contacts, so be prepared for that but you can get it back into your phone at this point and go ahead and start using it again as usual.